decimal numbers today. So before we begin, we need to understand what is expanded form. Expanded form is a way to write numbers by adding the value of its digits. Or in other words, we can say expanded form of a number is the way of expressing that number as the sum of place values of all its digits. So while writing the expanded form, you need to know what is place value and you need to have good hold on decimal place value chart. So let's go through the question. Write the expanded form of the given decimal numbers. Part A is 5.218. We start with the extreme left of this number. So this digit is in whole number part and it is 5. 5 is at which place children? It is at 1's place. So we write the place value of 5 as 5 once. Now we are moving to the decimal part. This is 2. 2 is at which place? It is at 10's place. So 2 tenths is the base value of this digit 2. Now this is 1. 1 is at hundredths place. So I write 1 hundredth. Now the next digit is 8. 8 is at thousandths place. So I write 8 thousandths. Now we can express it in other form also. 5 once is equal to 5. 2 tenths is equal to 2 upon 10. 100 is equal to 1 upon 100. And 8 thousandths is equal to 8 upon 1000. Now you know that what is expanded form C? We have expressed the same decimal number as the sum of place value of all of its digits. Now we move to part B. This is 200.69. Now this is whole number part. So the digit on the extreme left is 2. 2 is at what place? 1's, 10's and 100's. So two hundreds plus zero tens, then again plus zero ones, which will be equal to zero. So it's up to you. You either write it or you don't, but it's not going to affect your answer. So I prefer not to write them because the value will be zero. So now we move to the decimal part. The first digit is 6 and it is at tenths place. So 6 tenths plus this is 9. 9 is at hundredths place. So 9 hundredths. Now let's write it in simpler form. So 2 hundredths is equal to 200. 6 tenths is equal to 6 upon 10. 9 hundredths is equal to 9 upon 100. That's it. Now look at part C. It's 18.003. So the digit on the extreme left is 1. 1 is at what place? It is at tenths place. So we write here 1, 10 plus 8. 8 is at 1's place. So 8 ones plus, now we move to the decimal part. This will be 0 tenths. And 0 divided by any number will give you the quotient as 0. So it's not going to affect the answer. Again, it's your choice. If you want, you can write. If you don't want, then move to the next.
next digit. This is zero hundreds. So zero hundreds is also equal to zero. Now I move to the next digit which is three thousands. So I write here three thousands. Let's express it in simple form now. One ten is equal to ten plus eight ones is equal to eight plus three thousands is equal to three upon thousand. Have you all understood? Now we move to part D. Nine thousand four hundred three point five zero two. So let's begin with the digit on the extreme left. It is nine thousands. So I write here nine thousands. Next is four. Four is at hundreds place. So four hundreds. Then it is zero tens. So no need to write if you don't want to. Plus three ones. Plus.